Narwhal did send this to us in exchange for a video, but I already did that video. This is just a video that I wanted to do on my own because you need to know how easy it is to map a second story. Do you have a multi-level house like we do? Well, Narwhal thought of everything because you can set up multiple floors. It's a really good thing too because we had our house cleaned yesterday and this is the first pass of our upstairs from the Narwhal. We started with a completely empty canister. Three rooms upstairs have carpet and two rooms in the hallway have hard floors. This is the downstairs map I added yesterday, but we can add a separate map for the upstairs just by clicking the plus button. Bring the narwhal upstairs or wherever you want to map before you click the mapping button. I know you're going to be concerned about it falling down the stairs like I was, but it's okay. It will not fall down the stairs. Look at the nice fresh carpet lines. Now let's see what's inside. Oh my Lanta. I was expecting there to be a lot, but I was not expecting this much. If you have pets, even if you have your house cleaned, even if you clean your house, it probably is still harboring things like this. Unless, of course, you get yourself a Narwhal Frio X+. Plus. You can create up to four maps. So we have a map of our downstairs. That's where the base is. And I also had it map the upstairs. We don't have a base upstairs. I just carried it up there and had it map that area. And then you can see here, this is a carpeted room, carpeted, carpeted with the little squares. And then the ones that are smooth, those are hard floors. So if you have multiple rooms or multiple areas in your home that are separated by steps, you can simply add them as separate maps. Um, you can map the main area where your base is, and then you can pick it up and move it to another area where it won't have access to the base again, like a second story or a basement. When it's done in that secondary area, you just pick it up and move it back to its base.